Hey, welcome to Craft My Day's tutorial video. Today we're going to make this beautiful um, flower picture um, and it's super easy. Anyone can do it because we're using bubble wrap. Okay, so it's, it's a printing flower picture. Um, so this piece that I've done as an example, I've painted the background black. Um, it makes it, it does really stand out. It looks really vibrant, but in the demonstration, I'm just doing it on white paper. So either way is absolutely fine. So the materials that you're going to need today, some bubble wrap, so grab some packaging, um, have a rummage through your recycling. Um, we've got a paintbrush, I've got a thicker paintbrush and a thinner paintbrush, but you can get away with just one, it's absolutely fine. Um, we've got a pen, we've got some things from around the house, three different sizes of circles that you can draw around, and we've got some paint. So I've got white, yellow, green, red and blue paint. Um, any colours that you have got are great. White and green are really useful. Obviously green to do the leaves and white because um, we need to do the highlights, but you could always do those in a yellow if you don't have white available. Um, and we need some scissors, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna draw around our different items from the house. So I'm using a mug, I've used a yogurt pot um, and a smaller container. So we're just going to place our cup down, taking our pen, we're going to draw all the way around. I'll put my mug aside and then with my scissors I'm going to cut around my circle. We're going to use each, so we've got three circles and we're going to use each one for a different coloured flower. So this is my largest circle. It doesn't matter if it's not exact. Don't worry too much about it. Okay, so this is our large circle and we're going to paint this one blue. blue paint all over it. You want to get quite a lot of paint on there. Paint it nice and blue. We're going to take our big circle and we're going to press it down onto the paper. Can you see that? I'm just pressing it down onto the paper and then the big reveal pulling it off okay we're going to put that one aside and there is our first circle we're going to give that a second to dry i'm just going to grab some water there's always something you forget and i'm going to rinse that brush in the water And I'm going to take my second size of circle, slightly smaller, so the middle sized circle, which I have over here, and I'm going to paint that one red. So make sure you're painting on the bobbly side, not on the flatter side. So we're going to take our red paint, get lots of paint on there, and again, This way you can see it. Oh, there we go. Paint the whole of the circle. A nice lot of paint on there. Obviously, you're printing it. And then we're going to take our second piece and we're going to place it slightly overlapping the first. Can you see that? Slightly overlapping. And we're going to press it down. Just 
press it down really well and then when you think you're ready peel it off and there we've got flower number two we're then going to again repeat so we're going to wash our brush rinse the brush off in the water when you have a bigger brush it takes a little bit longer to wash it off that's okay and then we're going to take our small circle which is here and i'm going to paint it with yellow so I'm going to get a nice lot of yellow paint on here. And I'm going to paint my yellow circle. So again, I'm just going to think about where I'm going to position that. And I'm going to position it in the front, in the middle. I'm going to place it there. Okay, there's my third circle. So slightly overlapping them. And again, repeat. So we're just pressing down. To get that print. And lifting up. And there are our three flowers. Okay, we're going to paint the stems and give them a little bit of time to dry. I'm going to take my smaller paintbrush now. I'm going to take our green paint. And I'm going to come from each flower. And we'll do a nice little wiggle down to the bottom. And I'm going to have them coming to the same spot at the bottom. I'll do the next one. And the third one. All to the same spot. I'm going to paint some, paint some nice leaves. Now we're doing some quite long leaves. Think about sort of um, looking at daffodils and their nice straight leaves. So almost the same kind of shape. I go up and then I tend to come back down the same length. Oh, sprayed a bit of paint uh, to create a leaf. There's my nice pictures falling over. I bet I can't get those. Oh, perfect. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do another leaf next to that. So one swoop down. Another alongside it just to thicken it up. And obviously you can take your time doing these. A lot of kids they just like to rush them, whatever, whichever way. We'll just fill in a few leaves. Okay, so there's some nice leaves for our flowers. It's looking really good now. Now we get to do some highlighting. So we're going to get a spare piece of bubble wrap. So it doesn't have to be a circle. We're just going to get a smallish piece. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to do a little slight curve to the top just so it doesn't go off the edge. Just a little blob and I'm going to take white paint and I'm going to paint it onto the bubble wrap just like we did before and then you could leave this for a bit longer to dry between the layers um, but obviously we don't have very much time here I'm going to start with the blue which is the driest one um, that you could it doesn't really matter which one you start with. And so we're going to think about where the light is going to hit these flowers. So we're going to do the top edge, okay? So I'm going to do my first one on this top edge over here. 
and just press it down where you want the highlight to go. And then put a little bit more paint on. If you had painted the background black, then this does show up more vibrantly um, than doing on a, on a white paper. Obviously you could paint, the, you could use a piece of coloured card or you could use um, any paint to the background, any colour you fancy. And then I'm going to do a highlight on the next flower and just tap it down along that top edge. I've done it slightly on the opposite side, just where it would be coming into view, where the light would be hitting it, not behind the other flower. And then I'm going to do more white on the... If you find that you get a lot of um, transfer of colour from the other flowers and you've got spare bubble wrap, you can always take a new piece. Um, and then we're going to do a little bit of a highlight on the front yellow flower. So again, it's very little, so we're just going to touch, just touch it on that top edge. And discard that. So here is my beautiful flower picture. Um, I hope you and the kids have fun making these today. And um, hang them out to dry and uh, they can go up on your fridge. All right, have a lovely day. Bye.